New this hour, the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, or Hurricane Hunters, are in Reno this week to gather data on atmospheric rivers. Angela Schilling spoke with them about their mission earlier today and has the story. Sometimes the best view of the clouds is from above. The Hurricane Hunters gets a bird's eye view on a regular basis. They are known for flying through hurricanes, but for now, they're deployed in Reno, flying into the central portion of the Pacific, looking at atmospheric rivers. This video is from this past weekend. This is probably our fourth or fifth year out here. Um, it's getting a little more attention uh, as the years go by. The goal is to gather as much information as possible. Each mission lasts about eight or nine hours. Flying at about 30,000 feet above the surface, they gather data by releasing about 25 drop sons per mission into the ocean. The data will be used for further research and forecasting. It takes about 12 minutes for the data to get sent back to the aircraft. One of these drop sons here costs $800, but then when you look at the cost in terms of evacuations, that costs a million dollars per coastal mile. The drop sons are gathering all kinds of observations, from the pressure to the relative humidity and wind speed. Crucial information during hurricane season, but also very valuable information for forecasting storms out west. Flying through atmospheric river events is a much smoother ride. Some storms kind of act like personalities. Uh, some, some can be really violent, uh, some can be not so violent, and uh, uh, a little, little bump here and there, or could be strapped in, holding on for, for dear life. And some winter storms can be more significant than others, which is why it is so important for models to be accurate when predicting them. The more observations, the better. I think it's really valuable. Um, it could it, it enhances the forecast models by up to 30 percent. Luckily, they were here just in time to fly through last week's storm. Hopefully, they'll get to fly through more. Covering the story, Angela Schilling, 2 News. What an incredible job. Crazy video, too, right? They plan on being in Reno through at least the beginning of March. Glad to have them. Hurricane season in the Atlantic begins June 1st.